today's video, I'm like 150 trophies away from Mythic. Just been swapping around spell slingers every single video, different, completely different decks every video. Maybe not completely different because every time I have uh, gruel colors, I like to play Grim Echoes. But other than that, yeah, um, I'm assuming the season's going to reset June 1st. Um, I'm considering trying to hit Mythic, although I don't really care because uh, Magic Awakens is coming really soon. But in that spirit, I would like to ladder with something, you know, uh, more aggressive. And so we've seen this on the channel a bunch of times. If you want like an in-depth explanation of why uh, certain cards are in here, just refer back to the last Vivian video I had. And I actually went over the choices and kind of, um, I guess, the, the, the concept of just basically beating your opponent with uh, better things on curve throughout the course of the whole game. So, with that being said, I'm just going to hop on the ladder and uh, play a few games. Okay, Vraska. Um, this could be interesting. Um, it's not a deck that has Day of Judgment or Lava Wave, so we do have a chance. Day of Judgment's not so bad. Lava Wave's the real, real threat. I'm rooting for you to win it all! I'm sure that's what you're telling my opponent, sucker. Um, I'm gonna keep the two drop. I'm putting back the other things. I need to curve better. Okay, I was gonna say, like, of course I pull a, you know, five drop after I put back two four drops. You know, I'm hoping they pass with three for Worm's Wake. That would actually be really sick. Um, and then I can treetop look out, um, you know, whenever they have Show them your three mana. Uh, one, two is a great, uh, great upgrade. Really good with Tusker. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to do that. Two drop five five seems pretty cray cray. <sighs> that is absolutely uh, not an issue. Probably just gonna go go elite forest guard and get uh, naturalize for um, throne right. <laughs> Never mind. I can just do that later when they actually play it. This is kind of insane. Yeah, I'd much rather them get one buff instead of two. It does just give plus one, plus one, right? Yeah. Very nice. If they play something staggable, they're going to take a lot of damage, right? Oh, I really hope they pass here. That's kind of an issue. And by kind of an issue... I mean, I'm not sure I can win anymore kind of issue. Definitely need to get rid of them now, though. Um, yeah, I'm only going to swing with the 3-4, actually. So that way I have five stats to trade into one of the 7-7s, seven right? Does that make sense? <laughs> Good. Now if they don't draw one immediately, I'll have a 6-6 six, six on the board as well. And I might be able to contend with a couple of these suckers, but... Yeah, this is this is like a... My Debt Killer type of, type of card. 4-drop um, seven sevens are just... I mean, is there a better mid-range card in the whole game? I don't think so. If I do this and they have Infest, then, you know, good for you. Do you think they would have just blocked to let that happen? Oh, I just procked it twice. That's, that was a huge mistake. Probably. He did immediately top him. Now. I don't know how I'm going to deal with all these mammoths. 
Hmm. He's gonna block the 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, he's gonna take 11. I mean, I can't, I can't get two for one this many times. It's really unfortunate. Maybe he dodges drawing another one. I don't know. This is very, very sad. Okay, well. Getting him into, uh, like, or, you know, them into, uh, like, a flying sneak situation. Uh, it would just get another one. It's very bad for me. A uh, six. Relentless is fantastic here. If I attack with both, he's gonna take it here and then take five. I can't let him get that many favorables. Okay, I think I would rather have this have Relentless and can I can I play my card? Jesus. Pick your poison. Yeah. Drawing both of the uh, mammoths was very sad for me. You very easily could have another one. Um, this can be healed, so I think it makes more sense to trade this. Bullseye. Uh, maybe I should have blocked with Tusker because this can get turned to stone, but that would give me time. That's not very good. That's better. Okay, I mean it could be Mongrel. Mongrel would be really good. Protector. Grudge match. Grudge match. Like I said, this can be healed, so I think I do this. Should have rolled once. for sure. Yeah, I should have rolled once before I played uh, that guy. Maybe it's, maybe it'll be haste though. Okay, trample. Tear it all down. Yeah, I could have gotten that bad roll out of the way. I'm assuming it's gonna be another mammoth. actually really great. Um, might attack with just Tusker to be honest. Just develop a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Is this drain too? Oh, can I do this? Again? I'll take sneak on the three. Tear it all down. Yeah, yeah, because I rolled it last turn. Right. I can see everything from up here. Well, maybe the deck can play through a bunch of mammoths. I guess I was wrong.
That's got to be a mammoth by now, right? Because they put six in the deck. Yeah. It was. They gotta have another creature. Was that just them admitting defeat, basically? Very strange. I like getting free stuff. Nice. Cool. Right on. All right, going up against Nissa. Math is for blockers. I respect that. Um. I'd say Nissa's are heavily unfavored. Um, they have so many bodies in the way that aren't bad bodies in the first place, and they also probably have Lava Wave. And it looks like it is, um, you know, like the classic control version, so they will have Day of Judgment or Lava Wave. And if it's Lava Wave, that's really bad. So we can hope that they draw, you know, kind of slow, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. It's not undoable, but it's definitely not favored. I heard this stadium needs wrecking. I am not afraid. Especially with them having the fragile mana gem. Um, I would really want to play the Watch Wolf on turn one if I had my my choice. Listen to nature. Oh, definitely not. They're probably they might be even running like Grim Echoes in there. Definitely can't beat six Brontosauruses. <laughs> That's not bad. Tear it all down. If they have primeval titan, I'm <laughs> super going to lose, right? Another two drop five five. Seems like a good way of starting any game, right? Now I hope they hold up Worms Wake and I can treetop lookout. That would be an absolute dream. Didn't think so. Rouse the beast within. That would be uh, way too convenient for me. I do get an upgrade on Archer though, which is nice. <laughs> or another Watch Wolf. Is even nicer. I guess I should have rolled to see if I got haste. If it's haste, I'm gonna be very annoyed. Okay, good. Um, yeah, trample would be watchful if I can get more value that way. But yeah, I should have done it ahead of time. Like, there's no possible three drop creature to play, so. Is this going to be Temple? Oh yeah, they're playing uh, this version for probably uh, like Behemoths and or Lava Waves, so not good, not good. I'm probably going to stag and then just open attack. I really don't like this though. This is really obnoxious to me. You know what, I'm just going to stag the 5-1 I think. That's got to be better. They have three fragile mana gems. Are they running Death Shadows too? Sorry, hit the mic again. Hair in my mouth. Um. I like that card. I have played it before. Ooh, yeah, this is this is not gonna this is not gonna go my way at all. Well, let's get this out the way. I 
I think it's actually better to play Archer and Tusker and have one upgrade. Tear it all down. Leave this forest. Okay. Yeah, I think that was better than just having a 3-2 with a spell I might not even really get to use anytime soon. Now, if this is... Okay. The Maybe this is um, like a bunch of bird spam. Yeah. So different. Be way too much for them to patch green, man. Oh, immediately... Oh, well, no, it wasn't immediate, but that straight into that to draw another card is really bad for me. Um, Huntmaster or Grudge Match would be really great here. Um, I might even get Plummet off of Forest Guard just to get rid of one of these blockers. Oh, this is a 4-5. Naturally. I don't think there's anything to be done here. I think I just lost. I literally wanted to just see what the cost of plummet was. Yeah, and it's two. Sick. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I accidentally right clicked on it and it just uh, sent it out, so. Sick. Um, I'd rather develop Baboon than just get rid of this zero one. But that was. I want to see if I right click Baboon if it just plays it. No. Yeah, I'm right clicking it and it didn't do what it just did with um, Elite Forest. Guys, so that's really sick. So now they get to draw probably a bunch more. That's pretty sad. And I still don't have something that can contest Druid. And they also could have just top deck Brontosaurus. So yeah. Probably wasn't gonna win this anyway. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. So after this draw, they definitely will have it, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I respect the lookout. <laughs> Not really sure why I'm still playing. Maybe I can get something like a buff big enough that Boar can okay. hold nothing back. Not nothing. That's not even enough to deal with Brontosaurus, though. Yeah, and they're gonna draw way too much. <laughs> huh. Two fight effects would be great. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it just doesn't even need Brontosaurus. It's literally gonna heal uh, two every turn, draw two extra cards every turn. Completely ridiculous. Oh, and there's their tracker. So there's uh, boar is gone. I'm just gonna see what my top deck is. I'm just gonna scoop. No point. Right. Well. Raven's not bad. Oh, yes. Tear it all down. <laughs> it's 
It's Raven giving me false hope. They have Brontosaurus still. My friend like it should me. give this reach, even though it has flying, because there's cards that makes up lose flying, right? So it shouldn't be like a... Oh, you know what? Here we go. We'll just develop this instead. So now they can um, get me with the lava wave, right? Mm, yes, naturally. <laughs> oh. Sick em. <laughs> Ah, yes, heal for another one. Draw another one. Heal another one. Uh, I'm just skipping. This is retarded. There we go. Alright, guys, that's the video. Um, I love this deck. It's one of my favorite decks of all time. Really was trying to get other mid range decks in aggro and not like. Basically, I wanted to avoid Nissa and Domery. Even controls not that bad because um, we run the elementals and the mongrels and we can also roll haste with vivian and so you just try and make it to where they um they're so low that if they day a judgment and you have a haster you're probably going to win and then also treetop lookout is really good against a fairy um but you know we had to see basically um you know nissa or domri which is not good like basically um Decks that run like Primeval Titan and decks that have like Lava Wave are really, really difficult. But you know, that's just how it goes. So, hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you tomorrow.